It's day 18, which means there's only 24,152 verses left. If you're looking for a bit in the Bible that is simultaneously incredibly violent and very depressing, then you are going to be in your element with this section of Judges. The Israelites get oppressed again by the Canaanites and a guy called Barak has to defeat them, but he has to ask a girl for help! And then he has to... Uh, oh, 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 sorry, something's... that's gone a little bit... Beth, can you can you help me with? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. Now, thanks. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> anyway, Barak's such a loser. The person he's supposed to be chasing runs into the tent of a woman called Jael, and she says, "I'll look after you." Then, after he's fallen asleep, she gets a tent peg and a hammer and uses his skull as a ground anchor. Anyone seen the 2006 film 300? Uh. N no, me neither. Anyway, it's a direct rip-off from Judges 6 to 8 where 300 of Gideon's guys kill 120,000 people. Then Gideon must have been in a pretty good mood because he goes on to have 70 sons, but unfortunately for him, one of his sons goes on a rampage and kills all the others. Now, God's not a big fan of this kind of behaviour and so he arranges for a woman to drop an enormous millstone on his head while he's storming a city. What is it with these guys and not wearing helmets? The reason it keeps going super bad is that the Israelites keep rejecting the God who rescued them from Egypt and they insist on worshipping these other gods instead. Then a guy called Jephthah takes over and it's his job to try and rescue the Israelites from being oppressed by the Ammonites. But he gets too excited and he says, God, if you let me win this battle, I will sacrifice as a burnt offering to you the first thing that comes out of my house when I get home. And the first thing that comes out of his house is his daughter. So he sacrifices his daughter as a burnt offering. Oh, I don't know how much more of this I can take. Then a guy called Samson gets born and he marries a girl he's not supposed to and then he loses a bet with some Philistines so he has to kill 30 of them to pay for the bet and then his wife gets taken away and she gets burned alive by her own people and then Samson takes revenge by killing a thousand of them with the jawbone of a donkey. Ah! Tune in tomorrow for an extreme and calamitous haircut.